easy to remember. It's a four-letter word. Ask yeah. either of my ex-wives. Actually, I later found out that my dad called me son because that was short for something else. And, uh, I live in California. To answer your next question, no. <laughs> my husband is, not me. Um, actually, I'm originally from New York, which means that during the show, I may not smile all the time, but I am having a good time. And uh, I always start off with a quick balloon animal. This gets me warmed up to you. You get warmed up to me. Gorgeous statement animal. Other than your husband. Just yell it out. Free choice. He's not here. You can talk about him. A dog. Good choice. A giraffe. When I was 12 years old, my dad wrote the Encyclopedia of Balloon Animal Sculpturing. It was one of the pioneering books on balloons. I make over 100 different animals. They just all look like dogs. This one's Jewish. It's okay, I'm Jewish. See, look, I got a Jufro. I got lost for 40 years trying to find wishes. Actually, he's French. He has an attitude. He's got internet. His name's Jupy the Wonder Dog. He's my mascot, and he has. Oops, he just got a hole in him. We're going to make a dog. Um, you probably want to face the show because they don't have a chiropractor in this town. No, I don't. <laughs> yeah, you do. Okay. Well. <laughs> yeah, all right. We'll try this again. Anyway, his name is Joopy the Wonder Dog. He's my mascot. And uh, you know why I call him Joopy? Because that's his name. I, I named him Joopy because when I go home, I look at him and I say, so, did you pee? Yeah, he's trained. He barks. He can stand up, stand up. Whee! He does headstands. Wow! He can lay down. Lay down. <sighs> Want to see him play dead? <laughs> oh, you guys must be hot out here. Nobody even responded. <laughs> now, dead dogs are good, actually. You can use them to clean the bathroom. They make good pot holders and door stops. We'll make them a little bit bigger, and then we'll actually start the show. How many of you can make it here today? Yay. How many is this your first time to a Wishick 125th anniversary? Yeah. How many is this your last time to a Wishick party? <laughs> He's Jewish. Let's see. That, that's for that little princess right behind you, sir. Would you hand that to her? Tell her dad it's twelve dollars. <laughs> I'm Jewish, sir. <laughs> anyway, so um, oh, I, I, I always like to start off the show with um, my favorite trick. It's a rope trick. I, I call it a rope trick. The reason I call it a rope trick is because I use a rope. This is a rope. It has two ends. One on each. To make this difficult, I cut one end off. Now it has one end. That's over here. We'll cut this end off. No. Now it has no ends. I go slow in case you're from Napoleon. <laughs> we take the middle. We cut the middle. I call this part cutting the middle. Are there any questions so far? No. Sir? Nope. How many ends? Two. Wrong. Take off your clothes. Four. You have to take off your clothes, sir. <laughs> yeah, they're all laughing. They've seen you without your clothes. <laughs> no, no, you, you're right, actually. We have two ends, because we cut two ends off. Then when I cut the middle, they gave us two new ends. If we cut this end off, if we throw this end away, then we have no ends, no middle. All we have is a rope. This is our first major applause point. Good job. If children, you didn't applaud. You'll have to do it alone now. Thank you. You, catch the rope. Examine it. Make sure there's no hidden trap doors, secret compartments, Velcro, chewing gum, green things your buddy likes to wipe on you. Yeah. Hold it over your head so everyone can see it. Stand up so everyone can see it. So why don't you come up here? Let's give him a hand for volunteering. <laughs> Hi, what's your name? Where are you from? Never mind. Nobody cares. <laughs> there, you get the scissors. I get the rope. What's your name? Herman. Herman. Hi, Herman. Tell me when to stop. Somewhere in the middle. Stop. That's good, Herman. Don't laugh, he's from Napoleon. <laughs> Tell me when to stop, somewhere in the middle. What? I'm sorry, I, I was talking and you, I, we, I missed it that time. All right, one more time. Tell me when to stop. stop. Good, all right, cut the rope in half. All right, we're on the same page. 
All right, we just two perfectly equal length pieces. No, that was close. Cut the end off. We did good. Yeah, just make them even. Excellent. All right. We use two perfectly equal. No, no, cut that end off. <laughs> Thank you. All right. We use two perfectly. You're very destructive. <laughs> it's my fault. I picked you. But we're going to start all over. I asked you to cut it in half. I'm trying to find the middle. You're really good. You're close. We'll tie the ends together. Of course, you can't tie the ends together. You know why? Ask him. How many ends, sir? No, there's no ends. No, no ends. Here, we'll get rid of those. Okay, no ends, no middle, just a rope. Yeah. Here, you cut the rope in half. Great, now we have two ends. All we need is a middle, then we can start the trick. If Napoleon would, no, not Napoleon. <laughs> Herman, Herman, right, you remembered. Right. If Herman was to cut this rope at the exact opposite side of the knot, the knot would be in the middle, the middle would be at the ends. Do you have any idea what I'm talking about? No, that's because you're from Napoleon. Here, cut the rope. <laughs> Not my fingers. Okay, the rope's white, I'm pink. And that's the middle. That's perfect. <laughs> Apparently, you're going to be an accountant. Here, hold this. Okay, let me explain. I wanted the knot in the middle. So we needed two equal length pieces of rope so I could do the trick, but now I've got this little one and this... Oh, wait, you know what? I'll tell you what. We'll untie this tiny piece of rope sliding back and forth. You hold on to the tiny piece. Do everything that I do. Tie your ends together. Then take the scissors, cut the rope in half. I don't trust you anymore. I'll use my fingers. They're safer, sharper. Coil it up into a little ball, put it all back together. That's perfect. Just hold it up quick. There will floor for you. Ta-da. No, this way. Long. Yes. Ta-da. Yes, how beautiful. All right. Hey, Herman, you know, every morning when I get up, I tie my shoelaces. Sometimes they get the end squad inside. Has this ever happened to you in Napoleon? <laughs> yeah, I grab my knot and I pull up both ends. This makes the knot come right out. Of course, if you pull on your knots, you'll go blind. Here, cut the rope in half. Big finale. You ready? Here we go. Cut the rope in quarters. Excellent. Cut the rope in pieces. I was homeschooled. Here, you got the ropes. I get the scissors. What? You put the ropes back together. All right, Napoleon now. No, not Napoleon. Yes. <laughs> Herman. Herman puts the ropes completely back together again. This is great. He's never done this before. Yes. They're cheering for <laughs> I'll tell you what, I'll help. I have a little tacky magician's bag. All tacky magicians have one. All the ropes go into the bag. Okay, bye-bye, All of them. Put them in there. Those two. This town's clean. I love it. There's one over there. Don't forget those. And there's two more. Herman's getting an attitude. Look at me funny. You're the one wearing a pineapple shirt. Who uh, we'll gets a magic wiffle dust? <laughs> That's why we didn't use him for this. Here, hold this over your head, pretend you're a tourist. Great! I'm gonna get a gun. A gun? Yes! Right. I'm going to shoot the little bag. The red bag, not the old bag. <laughs> this restores the rope. The rope flies out of the bag, changes into a beautiful bird. The bird flies around the audience. And it poops on your head. <laughs> You feel foolish. <laughs> How many people think Herman looks silly? You feel the love? <laughs> Here we go. One, two. You're great. <laughs> I got a magic wand. Well, sometimes the gun doesn't work. So when the gun doesn't work, I wave the wand. Shot my turtle. <laughs> he was a ninja turtle. Now he's a mutant. 
Oh, well, no big loss. We looked in the bag! Oops, come back here, you. Hey, you did this when I wasn't looking. Look, Herman's the magician. Oh, take a bow, they loved you. No, no, come back here, Herman. Nobody said you could do that. We're gonna play a game. I, I kind of picked on you a little bit, so I'm gonna give you a chance to make. You're gonna make. You ready for this? Twenty dollars. Wanna make twenty bucks? All right, here we go. Inside this bag, you're gonna find five buttons. Five buttons. You're gonna pick one of those buttons: red, yellow, blue, green, purple, orange. I forget what colors they are. You're gonna pick one. You're gonna hold it in your hand so that I can't see it. You're gonna put the bag down so that I can't see the other buttons. And then you're gonna put your other hand out like this. Herman, pick a button. Know what color it is. Choose your button. Tell me when you're ready. I'm ready. You're ready, put the bag down. Excellent, all right. You're gonna face me over here, buddy. And uh, let's see, put your hands up a little bit. Are you a good liar? Are you a good liar? Yes or no? You have to answer. Yes or no? Are you a good liar? I don't know. You don't know. For 20 bucks, are you a good liar? Yeah. All right, good. Just hold this one up a little bit higher. <laughs> We're going to go for it. All right, first of all, is your name Herman? Yeah. Yes. All right, good. Good out of the answer. Today's your birthday. No. No, no. You see, you shook your head, you blinked your eyes a little. We're going to pay attention here. See if you're a good liar. 20 bucks. Let's see. Um, do you like girls? No. No? Hey, you shook your head a little bit. I don't know. I'll tell you what. From this point forward, you're going to say no to anything I ask you, okay? Anything I ask you, you're going to say no. Do you understand? No, the answer is no. So you're not paying attention. <laughs> All right, good, here we go. All right, let's just, for 20 bucks. Is the button in your left hand? Is the button in your right hand? Is the button in your left hand? Is the button in your right hand? You can even open up your left hand, show them it's empty. All right. Now we're going to figure out which color it is for 20 bucks. Ready? You can put that hand down. You can press that one. Do you have the blue button? No, no because there is no blue button. Maybe it's orange. Maybe it's orange. No, we don't have an orange button either. No. Sorry. Not. <laughs> You're out. <laughs> that was great. All right. Let's see. Do you have the white button? No. Do you have the yellow button? No. Do you have the green button? You have the red button. No. You have the black button. No. Uh, you see, you didn't roll when you said lie to the black button. So. Try this again. I think it's the black button, but we're going to make sure. You have the yellow button. No. The white button. No. The red button. No. The blue button. No. The green button. No. Orange button. No. no. White button. No. Black button. No. I'm going to go with black. Let's see how we did. Yes. <laughs> Sorry, no 20 to you, but thanks for being a great sport. All right, have a seat, run, be free, quick, before. So, what should we do now? I've never gotten this far. We will go out and find a beautiful volunteer. Oh, oh, pick me, pick me, pick me. Come, Naya. gorgeous. Hello, princess. What's your name? Naya. Naya, really? That was my name when I was a little girl. <laughs> I joined the Them Generation. Are you familiar with the Them Generation yet? Oops, you lost your mic. Mike? Oh, there it is. I just have to stand it. Oh, the Dem generation. That's what's happening on the West Coast in California. Those crazy lunatic Democrats like me. Yeah. Here, hold that. See, let me explain what's going on over there. Now, we know the difference between boys and girls. Now, I have nephews and nieces. They are called nibblings. They don't want to be boys or girls. They just want to be nibblings. And it's confusing me because I always called them nephews and nieces. But now they are my nibblings. And, and anyway, my girlfriend, she's a lady. So she's a she, her. 
And she says, I'm a he hawk because I'm a jackass. <laughs> All right, we're going to tie this one. Here, hold this in your left hand. Hold this one in your other left hand. Perfect. This one goes under your chicken wing. Whee! An orange one. Yes! Uh, yes. <laughs> Something about orange with that kid. I don't know. Under the other chicken wing. Yes! Beautiful. Good job. A short one. Ouch. Whoa. I got some of your own size. <laughs> Say ah, fight, good job. <laughs> it's another orange one. Yay! Yay! <laughs> hey, have you ever seen the green Iggy? There's one flying around. Look. <laughs> Two more. You think she can do it? Yeah. Oh, good audience. Here we go. And now, a lesson in science. Static electricity. <laughs> we're not going for it. All right. I'll tell you what, we're going to play trivia. What animal balances a ball on his nose in the circus? The Easter seal. Very good. All right. What animal is on the Flintstones? Right, dino, the generic dinosaur. And the tallest animal in Africa. Disgusting. In Africa, the tallest animal. A giraffe. If you twist his head, he's a transformer. If you twist his feet, he's a hot dog dog. If you stick him in corn, he's a corn dog. Here we go. Give me that one. Oops. What animal had two heads? He was on Dr. Doolittle. He, he, he was a type of llama, and he was called a... Someone remember? It's old. It's a push-me-pull-you. And then it was cat dog. But today, it's a politician. Here we go. The world's biggest. He's colossal. You can play with him in the bathtub. Don't use a blow dryer. I used the blow dryer in the bathtub. Look what happened. It's a dog from Chernobyl. No, wait. It's Rudolph, the anorexic reindeer. He knew he was coming to North Dakota and you all have guns, so he went on Jenny Craig. That's for you, gorgeous. Yay, for you to carry around the rest of the day. Come on, Pops. You know, um, they invited me here with one primary purpose, and that is the board has decided instead of pink shirts that they would like a new uniform. So they asked me to introduce you to the new festival board uniform, and here it is. Yes. See, I need someone to help. No, I need a big man. I need a strong man. Yes, I need you saying, oh, God, please, no, not me. Get up here. Everyone's staring at you anyway. Give him a round of applause. Make him feel loved. We love you. What's your name, sir? John. John. That's a lovely name. Since you lie, we're going to call you Nancy. Take the jacket. Unbuckle the jacket, John. Nancy, what's your name? Chad. Chad. Good name. Four letter word. <laughs> yes. All right. You're going to time me up. So it'll be like your wedding night. <laughs> All right. Very quickly, I realize you'll probably be able to figure it out because you're a country boy. And uh, in San Francisco, they stare at me and go, huh? <laughs> anyway, there's a little hinge. You put it this way through the hinge, goes over the teeth, stick it in the other side. Make it nice and tight. You're going to tie me up. Yay. All right. Oh, you knew that. All right, start at the top, Chad. Work your way down. <laughs> Hurts me, big boy. <laughs> Show me who my daddy is. <laughs> All right, so Houdini was like amazing. 
Houdini, a hundred years ago, he would suspend himself 150 feet in the air, upside down in a straitjacket. Then they would set the rope on fire. He's dead now. All right, there's one buckle going up and down, Chad. Leave that one for last. That one has very special instructions. I don't do that upside down stuff, no. Instead, I give myself a time limit. I will get out of the straitjacket in one minute, or I will eat razor blades. Razor blades? Don't eat razor blades! Double-edged. With boogers on them. <laughs> All right. You're really going tight, dude. Do it through his belt buckle. What's that? Do it through his belt buckle. No, no. Do the belt buckle, lady. All right. I will swing the strap of doom back to you. Chad, it has special instructions. You may pull on the strap of doom. Please never yank on the strap of doom. I like it when you pull on it, just not when you yank on it. Okay, I'm flossing. That's good. Mental floss. Yeah, go ahead. That's a yank. Okay. Kiss me. I like girls. Sorry, flashback. I went to Penn State. <laughs> Joke's aging quickly, but. I'll get out of this in two minutes. <laughs> All right, you got to watch. No, you don't have a job. Please do not throw things at me right now, are you? Oh, it's a lighter. <laughs> Set me on fire, thanks. <laughs> all right, you got a cell phone? Yes, all right, find the stopwatch, the clock, something. You're going to time me. Every 10 seconds, you need to yell out the time, though, so figure out something that has a 10 second, 20 second, 30 second, 40. All right, stopwatch. tell me when to start. 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 Okay. Remember to yell so I can hear you clearly. Shut up. <laughs> Sorry, that was rude. Please shut up. No, you're doing fine. That's the easy part, actually. This is the part that separates the men. And apparently it knocks my head off. It's not that type of show, kid. Need you to help me one more time though before you go. Um, you know, Houdini was pretty amazing. Houdini could take like a hundred needles and he would swallow them, and then he would swallow a long length. Got a little belly there too, huh? Me too. I just find my desk one size too small. Look at that. Anyway, Houdini would take like a hundred needles and he would swallow them. Then he would swallow a long length of cotton thread and he could pull the thread out of his throat with all the needles tied onto it. He's dead now. I don't do that. Instead, Chad, for your entertainment pleasure, is going to select one of these razor blades. Please be very careful, Chad. The razor blades are very sharp, and you apparently don't use a lot of razor blades. Right. Pick one. Pull it out. Eat it. It's a joke, Chad. <laughs> Hold on to these with the other hand. We're going to see just how sharp those razor blades are using the nine of spades, the card. Of, is that the chosen one or is that the group? This is the chosen one. There we go. I got the chosen one. Are they sharp, Chad? Other side. Are they sharper than the guy with the rope? Ooh. <laughs> You're not from Napoleon. 
I give back the razor blades. You, sir, you get a big round of applause for helping. Thank you. Fine, be free. I'll get these later. I'm going to eat these five razor blades. You're right. I'll eat four razor blades. Five would be stupid. I like to do this at children's birthday parties. It's important to teach children things like, don't play with razor blades at home. Go to Chad's house. Actually, it's shit. <laughs> but don't you let it get to you. <laughs> that joke's funny in Wyoming. <laughs> Actually, eating them is easy. It's passing them. <laughs> and flossing. Just sit there. <laughs> You're all from Napoleon. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah. All right, let's see if we can get this headset working a little bit better. The sweat has relocated my piece of tape. I can't even make it work. All right, we'll do our best we can. All right, for the finale. You ready for the finale? Yeah. That's an insult. <laughs> all right, for the finale, we need four men. You, sir, come on over here. Yes, the one in the gray. No, no, you're a wimpy dude. We need dad. Yeah, dad, come on over here. And this man in the cowboy hat saying, oh, God, please, no, not me. Get up here. Yes, you're volunteer number two. This man in the pink, you're volunteer number three. And that one in the silly hat behind the guy in the green shirt. Just because he has that silly hat. I didn't see it earlier. Have a seat, gentlemen, on the bench. Anywhere you'd like. Two of you on this left or to my right or something like that. Yes, you sit there. Big round of applause for our volunteers. Gentlemen, we're going to play in a wimpy game that any wimp can win. We're going to have a balloon blowing contest. It's like that police officer taught you. <laughs> we're going to meet our contestants, find out who they are, where they're from. Your name, sir? Joey. Joey, you're from? Ariska. From Ariska. Oh. All right. You got a red balloon, sir. Your name, sir? Chad from the police. Chad from the police. <laughs> <laughs> I have a pink one. <laughs> you get a white balloon. Let's hear her for Chad from the ball. Your name, sir? Garrett from Jamestown. From Jamestown. Yeah. Home of the stuffed white buffalo. There you go. You get a yellow one. Your name, sir? Josh from Jamestown. From Jamestown. They live together. There you go. Dude, please get lucky. All right. Gentlemen, the rules of the game are very simple. On the count of three, you're going to blow up one of your until it pops. The first person that pops their balloon is going to win a matching salt and pepper shaker from In-N-Out Burger. People come to California just for In-N-Out Burger, not for their salt and pepper. All right, um, let's see. Uh, point number one, you're not allowed to pinch the balloon. Point number two is that you should never pinch the two gentlemen from Jamestown. Just don't see them often. Point number three is that you're all big men. You're all strong men. This man here jogs to work every day. Five miles. Uphill, both ways in the snow, naked. We know that because his friend here follows him on his bicycle. Or the video camera. We'll be showing you home movies right after this. On YouTube. No, no. This man here on weekends wrestles sheep. See, North Dakota, they laugh. Montana, they look at me and go, yeah. So. This man over here is a bodybuilder. <laughs> Auto body. Right, we don't know one from the other. Any of them could be athletes. Any of them could be on a respirator. So I bring along equalizers. Pass that down to your friend. Hey, look at that. Pass that down. Keep that one. This one's for you. And pass one down to him. 
All right, gentlemen, stand up. Set the pump on the bench. Sit on it. All right, these balloons got really big before they pop. Little pieces do fly all over, so we all know that masks protect us. So I do bring along safety masks for everybody. Your hat comes off. Oh, this even matches your outfit and your hair. This is great. Bless you, sir. There we go. This looks real. Man, you get one too. All right. All right, now, let me introduce you to everybody. Let's see, first of all, this is why cousins should never get married. This is why you don't smoke the front lawn when you're pregnant. This is why some animals eat their young. And this is why there's still choice in 34 states. <laughs> anyway, here we go. You all get to count the three together. They begin pumping. Everybody counts. One, two, three. They're off and pumping. Look at them go. They're at the gate. They're coming down the long stretch. They're coming around the first turn. Jamestown lost his pump, but he's back in the game. It's going to be close, so keep your eyes open. It could be anyone's game at any moment. Another lost pump, but that's okay. He's rebound. He's back in the race. He's going for the long stretch. You broke my pump. No, we got a time for a Jane Wine, John Wayne Bobbitt joke. <laughs> Talk about out of date. Just broke everything, didn't you? This... <laughs> Not supposed to pull on it. We discussed that earlier. He's back. He's recovered. Take your time. Just hurry up. Could be anyone's game at any moment. They're neck and neck, but this is really close. Rarely is it this close. You want to try and grab four chairs for me, Misty? Four chairs. Yeah. It's, it's close. This is great. I only have a 45 minute show, but they gave me an hour. We got first looking for second. Looking for second. Keep going. You're doing great. Yes. Nothing, a little talcum powder won't cure later. You broke yours too. <laughs> you want help? The donkey knew how to put his back together. You can take off the mask before you die of heat stroke. I'll take the mask. Don't leave yet. We're going to use you one more time in a moment. And we got second. Yeah. We're pumping up the balloons now. Oh, here you go. You got the salt and pepper shaker. So he didn't want you to do that. We're going to give you your choice of any child in the audience. We're going to give you a gift certificate for Dr. Kevorkian. That free weekend in Chernobyl. And you get a big round of applause. Don't worry about it. I'll fix it later. We got four chairs. All right, excellent. We're going to do one more thing before you leave, gentlemen. Just sit those on top here. And... Great! Alright, this is this is my favorite part in the show, and we almost didn't do it, but these guys were so great. I thought we would pull it off anyway. Bring them up here. Our sound man, give it up for our sound man. He doesn't like the tension. Thanks for you to join us. Alright, this, this is great. Right. We almost didn't do this, but I went decided to. Do me a favor, come on over here. Sit on this chair facing that way. There you go, don't move the chair. Great, come on over here, sit this chair facing that way. Excellent, you get to sit here facing the audience. You sir, come on over here facing this way. Perfect. All right, you're gonna lean back. Just put your head on your shoulders, your shoulders on his knees. Go ahead, you lean back, put your shoulders there. You lean back, put your shoulders there. Lean back, put your shoulders there, there you go. Lift your bottom up off the chair. No, lay there. Yeah, there you go. Just lift your bottom up. You can do it. Square up your legs. Square up your legs. There you go. Good. Go ahead. Lift up your bottom. 
Scotch. He's Scotch. Don't worry. He's a scuddly dude. Hey, let's go. Let's go. You lift your bottom up. That's excellent. Oh, yeah. Go. Come on, young lads. Lift the bottom up. You can do it. Excellent. Yes! You guys have been wonderful. Wish it. Thank you. Bye-bye, everybody. <laughs> Thank you.